Hello YouTube. Today, I am going to be making some cornbread. Now, I looked up about cornbread, and cornbread is a very specific thing, or not really specific thing, but it's specific in the way that th the correct way to do it is very precise. However, there is not really one correct way to do it, because there's thousands of recipes. But they all say that it should be done really in a cast iron skillet that you use only to make cornbread. And over and over and over again, and eventually it builds up like a layer of cornbread flavoring. So when you cook it, it's actually delicious. But I don't have a cast iron skillet, especially one that could be solely devoted to cornbread. So I'm going to be making... It without that and I'm I basically kind of made up my own recipe here by mixing together like a bunch of other recipes and using the materials that I have in my house so what we're gonna do is this first you want to preheat the oven to 450 degrees then take a pan like such a baking pan or if you have a cast iron skillet, use that. You, what you want to do is you want to get some shortening. So, that's like bacon fat or anything like that. Or you could use, you know, vegetable oil. What you want to do is you want to grease this pan up, get it greased up, and then put it in the oven to preheat the pan with the oven. So that'll be the first thing we do. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically we're just going to take a bunch of stuff and just stick it in a bowl, mix it all together. So first of all, we're going to take two cups of uh, corn flour. Let's get the action shot here. Two cups of corn flour. Then we're going to take three teaspoons of baking powder. One. Two. Three. Then we are going to take half teaspoon of salt or a teaspoon or so, you know, decent amount of salt. Then we're going to take one can of corn. Now, if you have a can of creamed corn, that's even better. But I don't have creamed corn, so I'm just going to be using plain old sweet corn. Then, I'm going to take one cup of milk, add that in. Then, we're going to take two eggs. And add that in. Then, we're going to take some more shortening or vegetable oil, about two tablespoons worth. Put that in there. And then we're going to take some cheese. Now I've got about a, two cups or a cup and a half in here. I'm going to save some, and you'll see what for. But I'm going to put the rest of that in there. And then we mix. Want to get everything nice and mixed together, yeah? You don't want to have little dry pockets in here. You want everything to be completely mixed in. Alright, then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of flavoring. So, I'm going to take uh, some cayenne pepper. Add, you know, a decent amount of cayenne pepper. Mix that in. Okay, so now all the ingredients are mixed together. What I've done is I've taken the pan that we preheated in the oven out of the oven. So now it's on the stove. So that's still nice and warm. There it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pour the batter into that. And it'll start cooking it really quickly like on the outsides. And that's good. That's what we want. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Fall 150 degrees. 25, 30 minutes.
Okay, so here is our cornbread in the pan, ready to go into the oven. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of that cheese that I told you about, and I'm going to sprinkle that on the top so it gets a nice cheesy crust. Let's get that action shot. All right. So, you know, spread it around. Get the cheese on there. Then put it in the oven, 350 degrees, 25, 30 minutes, and there we go. Okay, so it's been 25 minutes and the cornbread should be done. So I'm going to take it out of the oven, turn the camera around so you guys get the action shot. Here it is. Look at that. Lovely, lovely cornbread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that cool down. You don't want to eat it just yet. You know you got to leave it for like 10-15 minutes for it to cool down. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to cook up some baked beans. Okay, so what I've ended up doing here is basically combining a kind of English meal, baked beans on toast. And the reason that it's English is that I'm not using American baked beans. I am using English baked beans. But they might be, I don't know. They're made by Heinz. Heinz baked beans. You know they make ketchup? They also make baked beans. It's difficult to find them here in America, but they can be found. And they're great. So, I'm going to take some cornbread. I'm going to put the baked beans on top. And I'm going to put cheese on top of that. So that's the little meal I've created here. I bet it's going to be pretty good. Check it out. Here we got the cornbread. Pour my baked beans on top of the cornbread. Take some cheese. Put some cheese on top, a little bit of salt, and some pepper. Now, take the first bite on camera. Gotta blow on it. I always seem to eat the food while it's really hot and I burn myself. So blow on it. Oh boy. This is pretty good. Now, this is pretty good. But I know that I can make better cornbread. But, I have no idea how to do it. This is the first time, in fact, that I have made cornbread. So, I am going to be experimenting with different cornbread recipes until I make the perfect cornbread. And I should be doing it all here on YouTube so you can participate. And if you can take this recipe and improve on it, then go for it. I know that I should probably use some buttermilk next time instead of milk. So if any of y'all have buttermilk, Use buttermilk instead of milk, and that'll be better. So, until the next time I make cornbread, or the next time I make something, thanks for watching, and see ya.